Dear students, yesterday you have learned the table of eight using paper strips. Today we will learn the properties of multiplication. Let's start our topic. Yesterday when I placed one horizontal paper strip on these strips, then we got eight intersecting points on it. What it means? Yes, it means 8 multiplied by 1 is equal to 8. Now let's understand this thing with another example. Here I have 4 flower pots and there is 1 flower in each flower pot. It means we have, yes, we have 4 multiply by 1 is equal to, yes, how many flowers? 4. So, what we learned? We learned that we get the same number by multiplying number with 1. When we multiply 4 by 1, we get the same number 4. Dear students, this rule is applicable on greater numbers also. If we have a two digit number which is 53, if we multiply it by 1, the answer will be the same number which is yes, 53. Now take another example. We have 139 multiply by 1 is equal to yes. The answer is 139. I picked up this paper strip. Now we have no horizontal paper strip on these vertical strips. What it means? It means 8 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Let's understand this thing with another example. I took away flowers from these flower pots. Now, dear students, we have no flower in these flower pots. All four flower pots are empty now. What we learned from it? Yes, we learned 4 multiplied by 0 is equal to how many flowers? No flower. It means answer is 0. We get 0 as number on multiplying any number with zero. Dear students, let's take another example. 82 multiply by zero is equal to yes. The answer will be zero. Dear students, here I have four vertical paper strips and this side I have two vertical paper strips. Now, I am placing one horizontal paper strip and two horizontal paper strips on these four vertical paper strips. Now, how many points of intersection we have? Yes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points of intersection. It means 4 multiply by 2 is equal to 8. Now I am placing 1 horizontal strip, 2 horizontal paper strips, 3 horizontal paper strips and 4 horizontal paper strips on these 2 vertical paper strips. Now how many points of intersection we have? Yes, we have now. 8 points of intersection. It means we have, yes, we have 2 multiply by 4 is equal to 8. It means by changing the order of terms of multiplication, the answer remains the same. Here we have 4 multiply by 2 is equal to 8 and 2 multiply by 4 is also equal to 8. It means 4 multiply by 2 is equal to, yes, 2 multiply by 4. In this way, we have learned 
द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स डू चैप्टर टू सेकेंड सम इन यूर नोटबुक्स फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स पार्ट सी एंड डी थैंक यू